<clears throat> Before I left for Vegas, I made a video and I was talking about losing my edge. And a lot of people, I guess, were wondering what I was talking about. Um, well, let me break it down for you guys, okay? Uh, some of my newer videos are a little bit more of who I am, but somewhere in the middle there I got lost. I got lost because I thought that some of the people here on YouTube that were making videos and were in certain circles were the kind of people that I wanted to be around. So I, I would make videos and I would re-edit them and chop them up and really work fucking hard to make them into something a little bit more politically correct, and now I fucking regret it. I fucking regret ever trying to do that because... Some of those people are gone. Some of the people ended up, you know, being liars. Some of the people ended up being backstabbers. They closed their accounts or they left YouTube and went went elsewhere, um, or they just they've changed channels and they're playing shady games with people. And now I regret ever fucking censoring myself for even a second. Okay, and that's what I meant by losing my edge because I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair for anybody. I don't think it's fair for you. You out there watching this video, if you're making videos, I don't think it's fair to the people that watch your videos. If you're a vlogger, and I'm not talking about people that make fake-ass vlogs like Dax Flame, okay? Obviously, his vlogs are fucking fake. I'm not talking about people that get on and just strictly entertain, like Hughes News and, and you know, what the buck. Those people, they're doing something on here different. If you're a vlogger and you get on and you speak your mind and you censor your videos and you try to fit in to some sort of group of people and you think those are the kind of people you want to be around, and you find out later on that they were basically just fucking around or bullshitting, you feel like an ass. And it's not fair to the people that watch you, and it's not even fair to yourself if you censor your videos. If you try to, you know, polish up your videos and make them into something more streamlined. If you try to make your videos so people are going to watch them and, and put you on some sort of pedestal and think that you're, you know, make, make it seem as if you're better than someone else. If that's why you're making your videos, then I feel really sad about that because I can tell you from, from experience, okay, because I've been doing videos on here for a long fucking time that trying to make videos to please everybody is fail. It's total fail. I feel like it's some sort of power struggle. Like, you know, if I'm friends with this person, then I can't say anything about what that person's doing, and I'm tired of doing it. I'm so frustrated with doing it. I have made literally hundreds of videos, hundreds of videos in the last five to six months that I would edit and chop up and try to fit into, you know, something that sounds more, you know, reasonable or whatever because I was so afraid of what certain people would think and now I regret doing it because those people they bail on you and they leave you behind and they and they make you think that you're part of something that you're not okay they want you to think that you know oh I'm inviting you to do videos with me on my channel let's meet let's do videos together you know collaborations blah 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 and then you find out later on that it was all just a game for them to gain subscribers from you from them to you know try and use you as some sort of like scapegoat for something down the road and you just need to open your mouth and say whatever the hell is on your mind. You just need to do that, you know? People want to get on here and point fingers and try to, like, believe that they're better than other people. People want to get on here and say, you know, I can't stand that person because of this reason or that reason or whatever. But then, at the same time, they're not giving you 100% of themselves. They're not even giving you 50% of themselves, but they're pointing fingers at people. And I'm done with it. I am so done with trying to please every single person and fit into some sort of group. I'm tired of being nice to people that I don't want to be nice to. I'm tired of being friends with people because someone I know is friends with them. I'm tired of it. I know some of you people don't want to hear this, but I am being real. This is 100% real. I'm a nice guy. I really am. I try really hard to keep my friendships. I try really hard to... to meet people and, 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 you know, associate with people. I try really hard to watch as many videos as possible. I try really hard to make friends that, you know, could possibly be friends that you could have for years to come. I try really hard. But at the same time, I'm a real person. And being real is that we all have shit that we are not proud about. We all have shit in our closet. We all have stuff we have done that we're not happy about. We have all gone on people's videos and seen something that we don't like. And we've all, if you haven't, you have wanted to leave negative comments on people's videos. You have wanted to. Everybody has. If you have never done it, you have still wanted to do it. 
okay? You have wanted to rate somebody's video one star. We have all wanted to do it at some time or another. Some of us have done it. I've done it, okay? I have rated not, I'm not talking about people's like friends of mine. I'm talking about just any videos. Any video that you come across that you don't like that you wanted to rate one star. And you may, you may not have your ratings cut on, but I do. Because you know what? I don't care. I don't care. If I'm not going to be friends with people because I'm trying to fit into some kind of circle. I'm not going to do videos as part of some sort of project because I'm trying to like make it look like, hey, I'm all about this. I'm all about doing this. But at the same time, I'm worried about trying to get more subscribers because it's not about that for me. It's about being real. It's about cutting on your camera and saying what the fuck you feel. That's what it's about. That's what real vlogging is about. And this website has gotten so far from that because so many people are thinking that they're going to cut on their camera and they're going to become famous and they're going to make millions of dollars. The percentage of people that actually make a living off of this is very tiny. And most of the people coming on YouTube and getting thousands of views or, you know, uh, you know, or are getting thousands of comments and, and, you know, they're spamming their videos to the top or they're comment spamming their videos. Most of those people are people that have been here before, left, and then came back because they learned how to work the system. And that's the truth. And anybody else is coming on here getting popular, getting to the top, getting promoted by YouTube, those are people that are already celebrities. So these people with these false, you know, these, these ideas of grandeur, thinking they're just going to wake up tomorrow and somebody's going to discover them on YouTube, you know, the possibility's there. But get discovered for who you are. Don't d get discovered for being a fake person on YouTube, trying to get as many friends as you can and be in every single collaboration video and being part of every single project on YouTube because you know deep down that it's not all about doing it because of friends. You're doing it because you're trying to get more subscribers and you're trying to get more views. And that's being real.